everyone. I'm Stephanie. I'm the dietitian at the St. John Parish Health Ministry. And today I'm going to do my first food demo on how to make tofu poke. So it's a healthier rendition than ahi poke. And it's depending on how it's made, the ahi poke can be really high in sodium. So this is a great option. Okay, so I have 12 ounces of extra firm tofu and you can use firm tofu if you want to but I was told extra firm works out better and then we're gonna mix all the ingredients together I have half a cup of fresh ogo or you can also use the dehydrated one but I prefer the fresh one okay so we're gonna add half a cup of fresh ogo and then we're going to add two tablespoons of chopped green onions. This is fresh from my garden. And you can feel free to add more or less to your liking. This is one tablespoon of chili, chili water. And then we have the recipe calls for one teaspoon, but I'm using two, two teaspoons of grated ginger. And this is one tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce. This is one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil. And this is half a tablespoon of honey, which is optional. And I get all of that out. Okay, and then we're just gonna give this a good mix. Mm. I've tried another poke recipe from Sam Choi. His does not call for the chili chili water, um, but I was told the chili water makes a really big difference. So we just wanna mix that all together and then we're going to pour that in pour this in our tofu so this is a great dish to have especially now when it's so hot during summer okay and you can just just give this a nice toss so you probably could do this also with cucumbers and with beets You could add your own chili flakes if you wanted to, too. Okay. And I will have the recipe posted online. But this is... This is the ahi. Instead of ahi poke, this is our tofu poke. So, hope you enjoy!